Hey there, welcome to Make. Access the power of the leading messaging channel in the world by connecting to our WhatsApp business cloud in a few simple clicks. Let's dive into the details and show you how you can benefit from automating your customer communication. Go to make.com and sign up for an account. Once you sign up, you can utilize our extensive library of templates to start automating your workflows within minutes. Navigate to the Templates page, click on the Filter option, and search for WhatsApp. Click on the app, and you will now see a list of templates that feature integrations between WhatsApp and other useful apps. Let's take a look at a quick example. We will click to select this template that helps us create a scenario that will watch for new incoming messages in WhatsApp. And then save new leads to Google Sheets. It all starts with a trigger app that kickstarts automation. In this example, WhatsApp watches for new events. Let's configure it. Click on Add to create a new webhook. Add a connection to your WhatsApp business account. Navigate to the Make Help Center where you can find step-by-step -step instructions on how to configure the WhatsApp Cloud API to your business. Provide the verification token and copy it. Check Messages to subscribe to all message events and click on Save. Copy the webhook URL. Go to your app dashboard on developers.facebook.com, click on WhatsApp, Configuration, Edit, and paste your callback URL and verification token here. Click on Verify and Save. Click on Manage and Subscribe for message updates and click on Done. Once a new event occurs, your scenario will add a new row to a Google Sheet spreadsheet with the WhatsApp profile information, such as name and phone number. So, later, you can easily send messages to that user. Let's configure the second module. Enter or select a connection to your Google account. Select your target spreadsheet. Select your target sheet within the spreadsheet. Map the corresponding item from WhatsApp to these fields. We've already mapped the WhatsApp ID and the profile name. You can simply delete the ones you don't need. If you want to map more items to columns in your target spreadsheet, finish the template setup, Open this module again and map the extra items. For example, the text of the message. Now, let's see the automation in action. You can manually execute the scenario by hitting this button here. Open WhatsApp and send a test message to your WhatsApp business number. You can see the data moving quickly between the apps, and a new row was successfully added to the spreadsheet. Want to use another app? Make supports more than 1,000 services. Simply remove the module and select the one you want, for example, Airtable or your favorite CRM. Want to send a reply message right away? Add the WhatsApp Send a Message module. Select your existing connection. Select the number from which you want to send a message. If you are using a test number, make sure the recipient's phone number is added manually to the recipient allowed list. For a real business number, you can send a reply right away. Map the WhatsApp ID from the Watch Events module to send a reply to that user. Select a message type and create a message. You can use both static text and dynamic values from the previous module. Press the Run Once button and head over to WhatsApp to send a message. As you can see, the scenario was successfully executed and a message reply was received. And that's it! All that's left to do now is to switch it on. Sign up for a free account today to create memorable customer experiences and scale your communications with Make. Thank you for watching and happy automating!